In the last video, we saw what happened when we tried to view a user that didn't exist and how our server completely blew up. And so we need to write a test to be able to handle that because that is not the kind of experience we want our users to do. Uh, in order to do that, we need to learn a little bit more about some testing that, that Rails provides uh, because presumably we're not going to provide a link to the non-existent user in our native website and so we're going to have to pretend like uh, some um, malicious person is trying to go around the web server and not go through our web page um, and the links in there and so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new test um, let's call it um, non-existent user and well and what we need to do here is we need to tell our spec that we're going to use a slightly different testing interface so we're going to say type and we're going to say we're going to use the request interface and the way this works is that we're going to make direct requests uh, simulated without going through capybara so we're not going to be using capybara in all of its nice features like this uh, visit here or the um, the other ones like fill in right here or click button down here so uh, we are going to pretend like someone's going ar around our website and uh, we, we will need this later and so this is not just the only time we're, we're going to use this and what we're going to do then is uh, in s before we run our test w instead of using the visit keyword that that capybara gives us we have access to any of the request types that is available in a normal http application and so if we're trying to look at or or get a user we need to know what that is um, so we're going to run our routes command to remind ourselves when we do a request to look at a user what type of HTTP request we're getting. And uh, we see that when we're looking to get a particular user, the request type is a get right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go ahead and issue a get request. And on that get request, we're, we're going to go to a specific user path. And let's just pick a user ID that we're pretty certain doesn't exist. And that is what we're going to do before our test. And since we're not going to uh, have our page available right here, because that's part of Capybara as well, we don't have an implicit subject. So we can't just say it should uh, something or another. We're going to have to explicitly tell the test what the test is, is going to check for. And what we're going to check for is what we're going to have is we're going to expect the opposite of a request is a response and so Rails will create a response object for us and what we're going to expect that response to do um, is to do something uh, and probably the best thing to do is if they try to access our user that doesn't exist we should probably give them a list of, of users that does exist so uh, we can say redirect to the user's path. In other words, that's the URL that makes that um, list of users. Now, if you read this, it expect that doesn't read very well in, in English, so we're going to use a synonym for it here, and we're going to change that to specify. So it reads a little bit better to say we specify that we expect the response to redirect users to that user path. And so this is a quick test right here 
therefore if we try to access a non-existent user that there when we go to try to do that that the response should bring us to that list of users so let's save this and we can go ahead and run the, the tests now to ensure that things work properly and when we run these what we want of course is since we just wrote the test is that we want it to fail and so we see a failure we see uh, an error very similar to what we saw on the web browser that the, couldn't find the record the user with ID negative one doesn't exist and so it seems like we've written the test properly. We'll follow up with passing it next.